Welcome back, my name is Carrie, and today I'm gonna to tell you why manufactured homes are becoming more and more desirable the longer the entire housing market is red hot. Have manufactured home prices increased over the last year? Yes, but so has everything else. Is it taking longer to get a new manufactured home than it was a year ago? Yes, but also housing industry wide. Is there a chance manufactured home prices could increase more in 2021? Yes. Unfortunately, I do think there is a chance the cost of building materials will continue to rise as we head into the busy season, but there is a way that you can get today's pricing even a few months down the road when you're ready to buy. Even though 2020 and 2021 have been a wild ride in the manufactured housing industry, everything that has made manufactured homes a desirable housing option for years still holds true when compared to other forms of building in today's insane market conditions maybe now more so than ever. What I'm gonna do is tell you why manufactured homes are such a great option in a busy housing market. Then I'm gonna show you how you might be able to save time and money on your new manufactured home. Here we go. Manufactured homes are one of the most affordable housing options available. Building indoors in a controlled environment with everything you need to build the entire home right at your fingertips makes the entire process so much more efficient than building a home on site. The way manufactured home factories typically operate is by having different stations. The home is started at one end with the floor, then moved to walls, plumbing, electrical, drywall, and on and on and on until at the end of the line you have a full home that is ready to be delivered. Having all the designated crews within the factory with direct access to all the building materials really streamlines the process, which of course cuts down the cost, and that's what we like. However, most of the price increases we're seeing this year is on the actual cost of the materials used to build the home. The good news is that manufactured home factories aren't paying full retail price for materials. You won't see a buyer from Champion Homes at your local hardware store securing the materials to build all of that month's houses. They're getting a lot better pricing than the average builder because when someone like Champion Homes decides to buy your lumber, it's an amount to the tune of 30 to 40,000 houses worth per year. That's a massive contract which gives them a ton of bargaining power. On their website, it says they've built 1.7 million homes since opening their first facility in rural Michigan way back in 1953. That's 1.7 million divided by 68 years gives you 25,000 homes per year, but that's on the low end because when they first started, they were probably building hundreds per year, not thousands. So that figure has gone up. The reason any of this matters to us right now is because for a normal builder, the mill increases the price of a two by four for the hardware store, and then the hardware store increases the price for a builder. They both have profit margins that they have to maintain. For manufactured homes, the mill increases the price, and that's it. They've cut out a step and cut out a price increase. And that's just one of the reasons why manufactured homes are increasing less than other forms of building. It's because they have massive buying power. Right now, it takes seven or eight months from the time I order manufactured home to the time it's coming out of the factory ready to be picked up. Some factories might be less, but I would say most factories are gonna be around the same, maybe even a bit longer. To me, this seems like a really long time, and for the manufactured housing industry, it is, but I sometimes forget how fast our industry builds compared to other forms of housing. I realize that if it's taking this long to build a manufactured home, then site builders are probably taking longer than they normally do as well, and it's almost guaranteed that we're still faster from start to finish. I asked two guys who deal with builders all the time and found out that I'm over here worrying about seven or eight month backlog when most site builders are booked out 18 months. I'm worrying for nothing. We're still quick. Fun fact, I went down a rabbit hole while researching this video and found out the fastest home ever built was three hours and 26 minutes set by Habitat for Humanity. That's crazy. The fastest turnaround I've ever had was 2014 or 15, and it was three to three and a half weeks from the time the home was ordered to the time the home was being delivered. Normally, if we can even use that word anymore, the standard was six to eight weeks from the time a home was ordered to the time it was being delivered. So whenever anyone would ask me how fast can I get a home, I would say it'll be about six to eight weeks. Of course, now that has completely gone out the window. All right, let's talk about how to get pricing from two to four months ago on a new manufactured home. 
Up until this year, this wasn't a thing that people talked or cared about because building material costs weren't out of control and people didn't have to worry about prices jumping up a bunch in a short amount of time. Manufactured home prices were typically raised one time per year if the factory was busy, but sometimes not at all. Right now, pricing is being reviewed daily because the costs are going up so fast. What you can do to try and get pricing from two to four months ago is go to the home provider and ask if they have any lot models ordered. When factories start to get really long backlogs, some companies will place orders for their best selling floor plans, knowing that there's a really good chance they'll be able to sell it before it arrives at the dealership. For example, if it's a crazy hot market and the factory starts to get a long backlog, I might place an order for a 16 by 66, two bedroom, two bathroom, single wide. I know it's been a super popular floor plan over the years and every year I have people looking for them. So there's a really good chance that before it's finished in seven or eight months, someone's gonna come in and wanna buy it. Even though we decided that seven or eight months isn't that long to wait for a new home compared to other types of building, it's a long time for our industry. So this is a way that we can get new homes to people faster. So I order the home today and in three months, someone comes in looking for a two bedroom, two bathroom single wide. I show them the floor plan, tell them what options I've ordered, and let them know that it will be done in around four months. The beauty of this in today's market is that the cost to build that home is going to be based on whatever the prices were when that home order was confirmed. To give you an example, let's look at what lumber prices were three months ago compared to today. January 8th, lumber was at 690. Today, it's almost at 1,050. That's almost a 50% increase in three months, and that is definitely going to affect the price of a new single wide. If I would have ordered the home in January, it would have been confirmed at the lumber prices that were current at that time, and we could have saved some money on that new home. Same thing applies for today and going forward. If you're looking to buy right now, ask the dealer if they've ordered any stock or lot models. What you wanna do is intercept that order and have it delivered to your property or wherever you're gonna put a house before it actually arrives at the dealership. Trying this strategy could be beneficial in a few ways. Number one, you might be able to get the home faster. Number two, the price from the factory to the dealer will be confirmed at whatever things cost right before the home is scheduled to be built. So if building materials continue to rise, this is a way you can swoop in and get a better deal because if you get something built now, it's gonna be based on the current cost, whereas a stock home is gonna be based on the cost of whenever that home was ordered. It's just a way you might be able to save a bit of money. Number three, by intercepting the order, you cut out any competition or other buyers you might've been up against if that home was to make its way to the dealer's lot. Again, hopefully getting you a better deal. The downside is you have no input on customization or colors to be picked for the home. You have to go with whatever's been ordered and hope that they have similar tastes to you. It's not guaranteed that there will be homes on order to intercept from every dealer, but it's definitely worth asking the question. Right now, the manufactured home industry is busy, so unfortunately, prices have gone up. However, what has made it a great housing option for years still holds true today, so factory-built homes are still one of the fastest and most affordable paths to home ownership. That's all I've got for today. If you like manufactured home videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel because I've got new ones coming out every single week. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.